Hello and welcome to Reader's Retreat. I'm Paul and uh, this is uh, talking about the new poll that I'm going to put up on, on my community page for June on the range. I already got two books. I need two more books to cover June on the range and then we can do that. Okay. Now, some of these are going to be reruns and some of them won't be. This one here is Hangman's Law. This came in third place in the last vote. And uh, it says Junction City is just about the most unfriendly dirt water town raider ever trailed into. And for a place so small, it has plenty of big secrets. The town's most Highfalutin citizen has been shot dead and no one's talking. That is, except for for the woman who's about to hang with a crime. And if Junction City has its way, Buddha French won't have a chance to spill the story before she's swinging from a tree. Raiders' mighty suspicions Suspicious about the situation, but before he can uncover the low-down, dirty Dillian's injection study, he finds himself caught up in his own Dilly trap. And then he says, The Pride of the Pinkertons in his own adventure series. So, that's what the, this series is about. Okay. I'm going to do all the uh, reruns first. Corrigan by Cameron Judd. And this says, As his father lies dying, 18-year-old Tucker Corrigan sets out alone for the rugged Montana territory to find his older brother, Jack, a gambler who's been on the run for seven years. It's a hard and dangerous ride that will make a man a tuck if it doesn't kill him first, for for he finds himself in the middle of a range war against a powerful rancher who has decided to throw a hanging party with Tuck Corgan as the guest of honor. So that's what that is. And then we got one from Louis Lamar, Kid Rodeo Rodlo. Right there. Uh, Joe Harbin had killed a man for for a fortune in gold just to sit in prison and let the rodeo collect it. But when Joe and his men break out and head for the stash, they end up with a pair of unwelcome partners. R rodeo and a beautiful woman with a hidden past to get $50,000 in gold across 50 miles of desert. The de desperate band quickly learns how much they need one another and how deep their greed and suspicion can run. At the end of the journey lie the waters of Baja and a new life in Mexico, but first they have to survive the savage heat, bounty hunting, Yankee, Yankee Indians, and the shifting, treacherous nature of both the desert sands and their own conflicting loyalties. So that's what that is. Now, we have another one from Louis Lamar, and this is Colligan. And that's this one. This is one of the mirror ones to be in a poll. Deadly Treasure. Calligan's business is soldiering. For 20 years, he fought all over the world, from China to the deserts of California. Now he's a private in the U.S. cavalry. Poorly paid is his enlistment about to run out. He's, a, he's ready to move on until he, becomes, until he comes across the startling discovery, a treasure map belonging to the dead lieutenant who may not have been all that he seemed. The map points the way to an underground river of gold, or does it? 
to find out Cadogan will have to fight the toughest battle of his life against a fierce Indian warrior, a vindictive commanding officer, and the ruthless gang of outlaws. He'll turn. He he will turn what may be a river of gold into a river of blood. And that's what that is. And the last book that's on the on, that's going to be on this poll uh, when I make it is the Vanishing Americans by Zane Gray. A young brave fights for his noble birthright. No fee uh, left the white man's world to return to the homeland of his red brothers, but he could not leave Marion, the white woman he loved. In the harsh desert, she joined him in the struggle to restore dignity to his people. But the corrupt overlords of the Mesa Reservation conspired to crush his dream, and against them, Nafia must take his stand to, to save his people, his love, and his way of life. And I probably butchered the name of the young Indian brave. Uh, it is it is spelled N O C H A I E, so it's Nafel or something. I mean, Nafia, Nafia, something like that. But uh, there's the last book that will be on the Western poll, and I hope you all enjoyed this. And. Uh, uh, come out, I'm going to be coming out with two more polls, uh, videos like this for two different polls. One for my birthday poll in August, and the other one for uh, what's next. Which, which, what's next would be what's next after I read Christmas. So, I hope you guys vote. It's on the community page, and it's all going to be awesome. Later.